Welcome to Crypto Coins, where we review the best coins for you. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris. Today, I am talking about a pretty cool project. Uh, it's AI related. But before we get into it, just gotta remind you guys that I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I'm simply a geek on the internet who likes to bring you different forms of entertainment. Sometimes it's going to be AI related, crypto related, Web3, all of that good stuff. You never know what you're going to get, but you know, uh, sometimes we've even done chair reviews. So you should look at, uh, go check out that on the channel, but that all out of the way, just, you know, a little reminder, do your own due diligence, make sure you're doing your own research and, uh, you know, checking out anything you see that anyone tells you about online and just, you know, research for yourself. This market is a very volatile one and you got to be careful with your finances out there, but that out of the way let's get into today's subject so as i said we are talking ai and specifically we're talking zero g which is a decentralized ai infrastructure project that is aiming to tackle a major challenge in web3 making ai accessible secure and scalable so zero g is intending on creating what it calls an ai chain which basically is an approach that is intended to decentralize AI applications on chain, moving beyond the limitations of centralized AI providers, which often have issues with like, you know, they have issues with like data control and privacy and sometimes limited interoperability. And what they've stated their goal to be is to make AI a public good which you know will encourage a community uh governed ecosystem where their developers can build deploy and um, operate ai models transparently and let's kind of read their preface right here uh this is their white paper and basically everything on their main page leads to it if, whether you hit get started build with us it kind of all leads to their white paper so you can learn more about it but uh uh, artificial intelligence is changing the course of human history on the back of six decades of Moore's law and three decades of the internet comprom comprising of hum all of human knowledge, excuse me, large language models scale at an unprecedented rate towards AGI by some accounts arriving as soon as 2027. Limitless abundant productivity and creative or creativity brought by AGI will free humanity to pursue higher it, our highest potential agi is poised to contribute trillions to the global economy annually transform industries by uh driving the marginal cost of intelligence towards zero and more society by accompanying us however current computing infrastructure is insufficient and you know that's kind of where they come in where they are trying to build the first decentralized ai operating system and this concept is central to all of zero g's approach basically it, it's been designed to specifically support ai applications in a way that you know general purpose blockchains may not um, traditional ai models often rely on centralized platforms that don't necessarily align with decentralized principles right like you you want safety security and uh you you want you want those things you want decentralization right like that's what most people want um and so that's what they're trying to offer here especially in regards to data privacy they're aiming to optimize data storage processing and uh, model sharing, trying to make it more efficient for AI tasks and supposedly more scalable. Like they say, it's infinitely scalable here, enabling AI and Web3 applications to grow without uh, performance limitations, be fully on chain. And uh, what do they say? Composable here. So uh, seamlessly, seamless composability. Effortless integration allows developers to easily connect and expand AI driven web three applications. And they, you know, claim that they'll be able to do this as the demand rises and without the congestion and costs that will be associated with other blockchains that are in the similar field. 
as far as use cases go, zero G is like suggesting it could um, enable a range of AI powered functionalities. Uh, an instance of this would be developers that might deploy machine learning models directly on chain and allowing decentralized apps to leverage AI insights. They support uh, collaborative data labeling and model training uh, within a decentralized ecosystem in order to potentially enable communities to contribute to open source AI projects. Um, this project is also targeting, you know, privacy focused AI applications where sensitive data is processed, you know, securely within their network and AI as a service offerings that make tools uh, like language processing and predictive and uh, analytics, um, and as well as computer vision accessible uh, on chain for decentralized applications. Here they uh, speak of their story, the OG or Zero G, I think I've called it OG, it's Zero G Foundation is an independent entity designed to advancing the zero g ecosystem the zero g protocol was developed by independent core contributors to the zero g system uh, these core contributors are experienced serial entrepreneurs who have built successful unicorn companies but aside from all that you know they say that security and data integrity integrity are their highest priorities so uh, for them to address this they claim that they are going to employ decentralized storage and consensus mechanisms that uh you know will verify data across multiple nodes aiming to keep uh information tamper proof and overall transparent for uh the people who utilize the system so much so that the project's modular architecture uh overall is supposed to allow different developers to add specific security layers um, that are based on their applications requirements which could mitigate risks of different data breaches from occurring and they also mentioned that zero g does use cryptographic um, techniques that will help restrict data access to authorized parties only uh, which is a significant consideration as AI models continue to grow in their complexity and sensitivity. So, and you can learn a lot about it here. Security, they see they prioritize security and integrity on their platform. They have a bug bounty program that audited and they're audited regularly. You can see their recent audits here. Um, you know, all kinds of different stuff that you can go through on their documents uh, whenever you guys have the time and are interested to do so. So it should be said that it seems like with this modular approach that they're taking, that it seems like they are trying to give developers flexibility to select only the components they need, uh, enabling those users to, you know, customize applications more efficiently for end users modularity could mean a more tailored ai service or ai services that don't really require paying for unnecessary features uh potentially making ai both more user friendly and uh accessible across a you know multiple use cases some competitors in their field would be Celestia and Arweave, um, which focus on data availability for decentralized applications more generally. Uh, and Zero G integrates data availability into its AI focused blockchain, which uh, is intended to optimize performance specifically for AI tasks. So uh, this specialization might offer a bit of a competitive edge for those who are specifically interested in AI within the Web3 environment. So something that is particularly interesting about uh, Zero G's strategy is they are taking a node sale approach rather than opting for a token sale or uh, an airdrop. Zero G has decided to emphasize community involvement by encouraging node operation. And you can kind of see how you do it here. They have an introduction to it and 
uh, their benefits and sales structure, timeline, all of that. Um, you can go through different things here, but uh, they also have, uh, before we get into that too deeply, you can check out uh, their Twitter. They ha do have a Telegram, um, but the reason I'm going through here is you can see where their launch pads are for that. Um, they do have links to it here on uh, on X, Twitter, whatever you call it. Um, they're thrilled to announce that multiple launch pads have joined the OG AI alignment node sale, and you can find all of them here. Um, but the importance of this is that they are arguing that this approach fosters a more committed uh, group of participants who will contribute more actively to the overall infrastructure and governance of this network rather than it just being a bunch of token holders looking to just capitalize, right? Um, it really seems like they are aiming for long-term stability over short-term speculative gains. As far as predictions go, they predict by 2025 that 0G, uh, well, basically that AI and blockchain will be more prevalent and more integrated across Web3, potentially transforming industries uh, like finance, healthcare, and education. So they believe that aiming to create these more com complex AI models and having scalability is going to be, uh, you know, very central uh, to all of this, especially um, having it based around privacy as well and having a major focus on that. But for those of you who are interested in, you know, checking some of this stuff out, I highly recommend going to their page. We'll leave a link in the description, but check out their Twitter, check out their Telegram and check out their Discord. Um, the, the team really encourages participation through their Discord community where users can find resources, uh, join in discussions and engage in activities like developer office hours and community AMAs. Uh, they also suggest that uh, aspiring contributors consider becoming node operators and join working groups within the ecosystem. And overall, I feel like they are trying to project themselves as some uh, a team that is committed to democratizing access to AI and advocating for the decentralization of AI models that serve public good. Um, and by opening up the AI technology and infrastructure to more users and developers, they're hoping to drive innovation within a community centered framework. Um, whether they achieve these ambitious goals, you know, <laughs> remains to be seen. But uh, for anyone interested in this, you might check out Zero G's fresh new approach to this. Uh, it, it seems pretty cool to me. And I'm not the only one. Lark Davis here. Uh, you know, he is talking a bit about it, saying he's an investor. You can check him out. He's got a big following, 1.2 million followers. So you can check that out. But yeah, a uh, lot, lot going on. You can see there's some media from it uh, talking about uh, safe valuation, different, different stuff, introducing zero G AI's innovative technologies just all kinds of stuff uh all kinds of information you can check out on that page i highly highly recommend you do that and go through it it's got a lot of information there for you but i think the most important thing would be to join up on that discord uh amas right like any questions you might have that you can't find within uh the the realms of their documentation here uh i think you'll be able to get most of your answers from there uh, from other people who have been in the bunch for a longer period of time. But what do you guys think? Are you interested in the intersection of AI and blockchain? Uh, does this project sound interesting to you? Is this something that you guys are going to check out? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm very interested to see what they are able to do with this and what cool new uh, developments come from this project and uh, the developers who work on it. So that's all I've got for this one. I'm eager to see your guys' thoughts down below and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.